You're watching ABC4 News in High Definition. It is a breakthrough procedure that will help many Utahns who need heart surgery. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved the first artificial heart valve. And guess what? One of the hospitals already using it here in Utah. New at 6, ABC4's Antonio Lujan gives us a first look. It's simpler and less painful. People needing heart surgery because their main artery is clogged up or not doing its job have a new option. Some elderly patients are not good candidates for open heart surgery and some simply cannot tolerate open heart surgery. This small artificial valve is like the one in our aorta. It's making the difference between life and death for some people. The aortic valve is the valve between the heart and the rest of the body. Here's how it works. This new valve on the balloon is delivered with a transcatheter procedure, so this is through the leg. Doctors say the body can heal faster from a small hole in the leg than having your chest cut open. The majority of the patients are in the intensive care unit for two days, and they're in the hospital about six or seven days total. So far, 75 people have gone through the procedure. Once we start to identify that population of patients that it will be indicated for, I think it will serve a uh, tremendous uh, uh, number of patients. And give hope to those in need of a second chance. Antonio Lujan, ABC4 News. The valve already available at IMC. Uh, patients receiving this valve, by the way, were more likely to survive one year after surgery. Extra bonus. Snow was coming.